Welcome back to IGN Live, coming to you from Gamescom in Germany. It's time to check in with Quantum Break. You guys showed off a, a nice new slice of the game at the Microsoft conference the other day. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, we're going to sort of dive deeper into that one. Yeah, yeah. A lot, lot more to talk about and, and, and explain. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on here? Okay, so you are playing Jack Joyce, uh, and, and in Quantum Break, the setup is that there is uh, this time travel related science experiment that goes horribly wrong and time starts to break down. Jack is caught in the blast of that failed experiment and he gains the powers to manipulate time. So in a way, we, we are talking about a superhero story. Uh, so as you progress forward, first of all, you know, the threat time breaking down, we saw a glimpse of that just right, now. Right. Uh, a short stutter in time and, and this will be going on and escalating and getting worse and worse and worse as, as the game progresses. Uh, but also, Jack has time manipulation superpowers uh, and, and the powers will also be progressing as the challenge grows. Uh, so your enemy is a big corporation called Monarch Solutions. We see the Monarch HQ in the skyline there. And, and they, in this sequence, uh, they're searching for Jack uh, while he is trying to reunite with our other hero, Beth Wilder. And the people of Riverport, the whole uh, experience takes place in Riverport, uh, this East Coast University town. People of Riverport are protesting against Monarch's unregulated activities when they are putting up roadblocks. Uh, and, and looking for Anybody Jack. So okay, now we get to the time powers. So Jack can rush through time, becoming just a blur to anyone who doesn't have time power. And, and, and he can also stop time in a focused area, stopping objects and opponents, even bullets. And, and then he can release those bullets for maximum impact. So he has control of time? Yes. Okay. And, and in the, in the right-hand corner there, yeah. you can see the uh, energy meter for all the time powers. How many time powers are there? Well, there is the time rush and time stop. In addition to that, when, when we are operating in, in a stutter, in, in time where everybody else is frozen, Jack uh, can use his powers to release certain key objects uh, uh, and characters from that stutter state, pull them uh, into uh, normal time. Uh, so, so that's one power as well. And, and in, in addition to that, there is something that we are calling time vision, uh, which allows you to see short glimpses of the future, which gives you an edge in the combat. You can see things slightly before they are happening. Uh, we are not demoing it here, but, but that's one of the powers. And also you can see bigger glimpses of, of uh, the past events, which is a storytelling tool for us. So now here we are using, using both the time rush uh, and time stop. Uh, and the thing is that when Jack uses his time powers, the enemies lose track of him. He disappears and appears somewhere else. So that results in exciting cat and mouse gameplay. Are these employees of Monarch? Yeah, no, these, no. these are Monarch guys. Uh, and, and, you know, all the time powers start out easy and fun uh, in the, to learn in the beginning. And we add more depth and, and more, uh, more power uh, as, as the game goes forward. For example, the time rush in the very beginning is a, essentially a dodge mode. Time dodge, you yeah. do a shirt uh, burst, uh, get out of a tricky situation. But here, this is from the midpoint in the game. You can use your time rush uh, for a longer stretch, and if you uh, get close to an enemy, you can finish it off with an epic takedown. So okay, now we now we are going up there, and and uh, we are getting closer to uh, time breaking down more. We'll have a bigger uh, stutter in time happening. So so in quantum break, time is stuttering and breaking down entirely. And, and the whole crisis uh, is really hidden to the world at large. You know, when time stops, everybody freezes, but Jack's powers let him function inside the stutter. And, and he cannot control these events. 
so he must use his time powers to navigate through them and, and survive. So here, time stops. Time is broken. And that was a lucky break. Yeah. <laughs> This is our own tech, uh, Northlight engine. We've been spending a lot of time creating a unique look and feel with the distort effects and, and, and all to get just the right feel for time breaking down. Why was Jack there when the experiment went wrong? Was he a, is he a scientist too, is he? No, uh, he, he starts out really kind of this everyman. He has been gone uh, from uh, Riverport for five years, and he returns home to meet his best friend. Uh, and, and his best friend is involved in that time travel experiment at the university. But you know, things go horribly wrong, and, and Paul Serene, his best friend, actually disappears into the time machine. And then suddenly, he's there, he's 16 years older, and he's this totally changed, rootless, fanatical head of the Monarch, uh, Monarch Solutions. Okay, and Monarch has developed drone on tech, this technology that allows their elite troops to function inside stutters. Yeah. So here we have a drone on tech juggernaut, uh, and they have these heavy duty exoskeletons and custom built weapons that operate inside the stutter. What are we seeing? What's that warping we're seeing there? So it's just how the broken time operates. And the, the interesting thing about, for example, having a combat encounter inside a stutter, the stutter tries to revert to its original state. So what we are seeing with these cars that blow up, after a while they freeze and they rewind back to the state they were at the beginning of the stutter. So that keeps you an interesting obstacle and a tool inside these encounters. You can use uh, that as a weapon against the enemy multiple times. You know, it always rewinds and you can use it again. And this is a special case. This is a more unstable uh, car here, frozen in the mid-crash. And Jack can use his time powers to release it from the stutter. It continues on on it. On, on the path that it was on and after a while it rewinds back and, and that can also be used as a puzzle mechanic mm -hmm. in the game. Seems very cool. Can you speak to, there's also like a live action component to Quantum Break. Yeah. Can you, can I mean, you, can you speak to that? How's that going? Sure. I mean, we are building an entertainment experience. Yeah. So, so it's a fusion of a cinematic action game uh, and a live action show. And, and the idea is that the game is about heroes, about Jack and his allies, and, and the show is about villains. It's about Paul Serene, it's about Monarch, and what's happening inside Monarch. And you get a different point of view to the events that are happening. So, so that's, that's the basic idea. Uh, both the game and the show ship on the same disc, and they are tied together in, in, in multiple ways that the player can affect while playing the game. There, there are junction moments where you make a choice and, and we are shooting alternate content for the show. So what you get in the end is you know, your, your custom version of Quantum Break experience. And so in what order do you play the game first and then watch the show or vice yeah, versa? Yeah, so, so uh, the optimal experience is that you play through an act of the game uh, that always culminates, ends with the junction moment. And junction moments are our version of, you know, an action movie scene where you see the bad guy planning and making his moves. You actually play the bad guy, Paul Serene, because he has this most powerful time power of all. He can see glimpses of different future, futures, and, and you play him, you explore these visions, you make a choice, and that future becomes reality in your Quantum Break experience. And then we go immediately into an episode of the show 
and, and you begin to see the consequences of, of the choice you made. Well, people are really excited about Quantum Break. I think the part of the reason is because it's, it's one of those games that really feels next-gen. Like, it feels like this is something new that we couldn't have done before. Yeah. People are really excited about that. So it's really good. Sam, thanks so much for coming by the show. Thank you. We'll continue watching uh, Quantum Break with excitement. Stay tuned, we have lots more to come from iTunes Live at Gamescom, presented by Dead Island 2, right after these messages.